So today we're going to be using a vacuum sealer for long-term storage of firearms. Um, this is a old Stevens 22 or 22 short. I'd, it uses a lever, but I'm not sure if I'd call it a lever action because you just load a single round in here. Uh, this firearm was given to me by my grandfather, and so far five generations of our family has learned how to shoot on it. I brought it out a few days ago just because one of my buddies wanted to teach his young kids how to shoot on it and it works well since you have to pull back the hammer to fire it it only shoots one round at a time it's good to get kids going on so yeah I don't shoot it much but I definitely want to keep it nice since it's a family heirloom so I want to prepare it for some long-term storage so I'm going to start by cleaning it It also makes for a faster video since there's not much to clean. Now we'll just oil up some of the other moving parts, which luckily there's not very many of on this. So then one of the next steps before we actually vacuum pack it is to pad the sharp spots. Because once we start vacuum sealing it, some of these sharp corners will end up puncturing the packaging and ruining the seal. Make sure you're not sticking the tape to the gun itself. When you measure it, you want to make sure you have enough room for the tip to slide into the machine. And I'm going to throw a bit of ammo in here. Put it in the vacuum sealer. <laughs> Depending on the vacuum sealer you're using and how big the package is, you might have to do this twice. This one occasionally shuts off after a period of time. There's a lot of air in this package to suck up, so we'll see how this goes.
and she sealed. And there we go. But now this gun is nice and protected from any sort of in negative aspects of the environment. It won't require constant cleaning, even though I'm not shooting it, just to keep it nice. And it'll stay good for years to come.